Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Solar Stripper here, back with another video. In today's video, guys, I have got a backpack to show you guys. This was made by the boss9345 and myself. Um, it's for my 1,000 subscriber video, so yeah, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. It's been a long road, and I just hope that we can continue to grow this channel. Um, Bigger than what it is now, so yeah, let's uh, let's keep on uh, sharing my videos and clicking that subscribe button and liking my videos if you guys do enjoy them, of course. But let's get on with today's video. So this is the backpack right here, as you guys can see. Simply just says backpack. Now, if you want to give yourself it, it is this command right here: give at s solus backpack. Um, and now let's open up the backpack, and as you guys can see. We're on page one of the backpack. Yes, this does have custom pages. Mm -hmm. But let's open this up and let's click a slot. Now, we don't have any items, so it's you know not going to let us uh, put things in. But let's grab some mangrove, some polished deep slate, some dark oak stairs. And let's open up the backpack and click one of the empty slots. And as you guys can see, we've got dark oak stairs, we've got polished deep slate wall, and we've got mangrove. Now, this is obviously what is in our inventory. So our inventory will show up here. Now, if we click on dark oak stairs, for example, as you guys see, dark oak stairs are there. If we click on the bottom right and put in some mangrove planks, mangrove planks are there now. And if we click on this slot and click on polished deep slate wall, as you guys can see, the items are inside of our backpack. So they've gone out of our inventory. And if we want to put this inside of a chest or give it to a friend or whatever you guys want to do, you guys can do that. And later on, when they come and grab it out of the chest and open it up, you guys will see they have the mangrove planks, the polished deep slate wall, and the dark oak stairs. Now, what's really cool about this is if we give ourselves a diamond sword here and we enchant it, so let's enchant that s with sharpness five and let's go ahead and add that to the um backpack as you guys can see if we hover over it it does say that we have sharpness five so let's add looting to it as well just to show you guys that this does work so looting three and we will open up the backpack do that and add it and as you guys can see it says we have sharpness five and looting three so that all works as well. And if we was to grab it out, as you guys can see, sharpness five and looting three. Now this goes for if it was damaged as well. Um, so if we summon in some pigs, so summon in pig. Let's game mode S. Let's just kill. Kill the pigs. And now let's add this to our backpack. So as you guys see, it's damaged a little bit. Let's add it to the backpack. Just like that. And as you guys see, it still says sharpness 5 and looting 3. And when we pull it out, as you guys can see, it still has the damage on there. So it's that simple, guys. So let's add this back. Let's add the pork chops in there as well. Why not? And now, let me show you guys how you can upgrade this. So if we wanted to add multiple pages, we will click on Upgrade Backpack, just like that. So as you can see, it's, it's click to upgrade your backpack. And we can click on that. And we can also upgrade the backpack as well. So Upgrade 5, Confirm Upgrade, and click Submit. As you guys see, it's took 400 money away from us. And now, if we open up the backpack, we have five pages. So as you guys see, page 2 page three, page four, and page five, as you guys can see. So yeah, now we have banned a few items in here, such as the backpack itself. So if we give uh, ourselves another backpack, as you guys can see, we can't actually um, put it in there. If we open up a brand new backpack, which obviously we just got this. As you guys see, the items ain't in here, they are individual backpacks. Um, so they are on their own. And again, if we give ourselves a barrier as well, so let's give ourselves a barrier and give ourselves some sand, for example. You guys can see if we open it up and click on anywhere, 
you guys see we've got sand here, but we haven't got a barrier because we have banned them. So let me show you guys where you can get this from and how you guys can customize the config, the pages and the prices all to your liking and also the band items. So let's get into how to add this to your world slash realm. So guys, here we are on the boss 9345's GitHub and you guys can go ahead and read this if you want under here. It just uh, showcases the backpack off a little bit more. Um, and as you guys can see, we have the behavior pack, the resource pack, the license, and obviously the readme file, which is this down here. Now, if you click on the code button up here, the little green code button, you guys can click download zip. Now, when you guys download the zip file, this is what you guys will get. Now, simply just grab the resource pack, go to the com.mojang folder, go to resource packs and drag the resource pack in here. Same with the behavior pack. So put the behavior pack inside of development behavior packs, just like that. And guys, when you load up Minecraft, so if we save and quit here, when you load up Minecraft, click on the little pen marker next to your realm or your world. Simply go to resource packs and add the behavior pack RP to your world and then go to behavior packs and click on the uh, backpack BP and add that to your world as well. That's very important. If we go to the edit settings part and click on game, make sure that beta APIs have been turned on as this does use item dynamic properties. So make sure that you have beta APIs turned on. So let's open up a Visual Studio code now and let me show you how you guys can customize this. So as you guys can see, we are inside of the behavior pack or the um, backpack. So as you can see, it's opened. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the scripts folder. We're going to go to the config.js. That's the only file you guys need to edit. Um, and there is another file that you guys can edit as well. Um, if your items are not showing up correctly, if you have custom items in your world, you will need to change this setting, okay? But we'll talk about that after the config. Uh, you can skip to the timestamp on screen now if you just want to talk about that. But anyway, let's have a look at the config. So the scoreboard name is going to be what your scoreboard is called. So if your scoreboard is called cash, points, coins, money, dollars, whatever you guys have put, this is where you would change the name of it. So if your scoreboard is called cash, then obviously you would type cash here like that. We're going to leave it as money because that is what my scoreboard is called. Now, the backpack item ID, do not change this at all. You do not need to change this. If you do change this, it will mess up. The backpack's not going to work. Uh, so don't change this. Now, the band item IDs. We've added some creative items and chests and stuff like that. Um, but as you guys see, we've got bedrock barrier, structure voids, command blocks, chests, and the backpack itself. Now make sure to keep the backpack inside of here because if you take that away, you're going to run into problems and there's going to be duplica uh, duplication glitches with it and all that. So just leave the uh backpack inside of the band items as well because it'll be a bit weird if you try to add something to the backpack and the backpack is there to add to itself no don't do it it will cause duplication glitches and if you try to add your own backpack to your backpack you're gonna lose your backpack you know it's gonna delete it itself so um yeah don't do that um, but if you guys want to add more items or if you guys want to get rid of items, you guys can do that. You're free. It, you know, it's free to do it. You guys can do whatever you want. And if you want to add items, you can also do that as well. So if I wanted to stop people from putting wool inside of the backpack, then I could just do that. Make sure to add a comma at the end of it. So the um, line, uh, the code goes to the next line. Uh, so you don't run into errors just like that if you don't. Uh, do it so the array goes to the next line 
So, as you can see, we've banned wool and we've allowed chests. Um, so, yeah. Now, down here where the pages are, you guys can add an unlimited amount of pages. Now, where it says 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, that is the upgrade name. It says it here, so obviously, yeah, you can make it whatever you guys want. So, if we change 2 to a bunch of random numbers and letters, um, or just letters, and then we go to number three, and we change this to, I don't know, Google. And then we give it, say, 100 pages and change the price to 2,000. Um, or we could just change the price to five. I want to show you guys something. So, and then four to random, and five to 5S, and then six to, wow, six. You know, just random things like that. Um, as you guys can see now, Google has 100 pages. Excuse me. Um, Google has 100 pages. Now, the price of it is 5. But if we go back to Minecraft now, and we do a forward slash reload, because, again, this is in the development behavior packs, let's open up the backpack that we already have, which is this one. And let's click Upgrade Backpack. Now, because Google has the most amount of pages, it is down at the bottom because you can't add five pages if you've already got 100. You can't do that. Now, what I mean by that is if we try to add, say, five pages, we can't go down to four and three. So five pages, boom, boom, it's upgraded. It's took our money. And if we go in here, look, we can now go to page five, as you guys can see. So we're on page five, and there's no more arrow. There's only a back arrow. Um, but again, if we was to now upgrade to, say, upgrade eight, and click submit, and then try to upgrade again, you guys can see anything before that has gone. And if we try to upgrade to Google, which is 100 pages, which, yes, this will go all the way to 100 pages, uh, believe me. But do not, I recommend, say, 25 pages, no more than that. Um, I haven't tested it after that um, with all of the items. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd recommend you not go above, say, 25 um, if you have a big, big server. But as you can see, upgrade, you have, you have the max level of upgrades. You can't upgrade anymore. But if we go to here and say we add another upgrade, so let's add an upgrade called 500, for example. Now, again, I don't recommend you doing this, um, but let's add that upgrade. So just type page and then type how many pages you want. So let's do 300 pages now because we've already got 100. And let's set up a price. Let's go for a nice 50 for that. And then just click save. And if we've got Minecraft now and we do forward slash reload, you guys can see if we try to upgrade now, there's going to be another upgrade because we've just added it. And it's that simple to add upgrades, guys. And then obviously you can click submit. And yes, if we look on here, yeah, we do have backpack pages 300. But yeah, it's that simple, guys. So that is the backpack mod um if we open up visual studio and we go to extensions and click on chest form and then click on form.js if you guys do have custom items so if you have three custom items in your world please add the number to well two so if you have three custom items it's going to be five if you have 10 custom items it's going to be 12 Add the amount of custom items you have to this number for the form, uh, for the chest form data to work correctly. So make sure you add um, the amount of custom items you have inside of your world, inside of your uh, form.js as well to the number two value. Okay, otherwise items are not going to show up uh, as planned. So if we say five, for example, just to give you an example here. And then we forward slash reload. If we open up this, as you guys can see, nothing's showing up. Mangrove is, but that's an axe. You know, it's it's a diamond sword, but it's showing an axe. Uh, 
uh, that's working. But pork chop, as you guys see, pork chop is showing up as a fish. Now, if we click on it, it's still going to give us our pork chop back. And uh, if we click on the diamond axe here, it's still going to give us our diamond sword back. It's just not going to show properly inside of the form uh, data. So make sure uh, you put the correct amount of um, custom items in here. Now, we have one custom item, so we change it to two. Um, if we reload now and open this, uh, you guys can see if we add the sword back, uh, as you guys see, it's showing up as a sword now. Now, every backpack acts as an individual backpack. So I've upgraded this backpack to 400, uh, 300, uh, and it's got four items in it. Um, and it's got the diamond sword, dark oak, and polished, and mangrove. But if we open up this backpack, as you guys can see, this is only got one page. It's got no upgrades. And it's got nothing inside of it. So we can then go ahead and say add some sand in here if we really wanted to. And sand's there, but if we go into this backpack, sand's not there. And you guys can add this to chests if you guys want to. And walk away and come back. Yep. You know, get, get the backpacks out again. As you guys see, I've got this one. And I've got this one. And you guys can throw this to other people. And if they was to pick it up, they will see uh, the sand and obviously the sharpness five. And they'll be able to take it out of the backpack as well. Um, it's not like a vault system. Um, it is just, you know, if you've got the items in the backpack and you throw it away, if someone finds that backpack, they're going to be able to keep everything inside of that backpack. So, yeah, I mean, that is the backpack system. It's super, super easy and user friendly. Um, very, very, very customizable. It was made by me and the boss 9345. Check out his GitHub, the link down below. Uh, there's a link in the description for you guys to go straight there and download it. Um, it won't be linked to my GitHub. My GitHub will be down there, but the backpack system is not going to be on my GitHub. It will be on the boss 9345's GitHub. So go and check him out and give him a star. Um, and also guys, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I really do uh thank you guys it's been a wild ride i've uh, been doing youtube for a while now and uh, i finally found what i like doing which is coding videos on minecraft um so yeah we're gonna stick with that and uh again thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers i really can't thank you guys enough but with that said don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy this video subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell to never miss another upload from me. But it's B-Boy Soulless. Don't forget to stay soulless. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.